Hey, good morning, everybody. This is The Professor with Day Trading for Success. Today, we're going to be doing some trading in just a minute here, about 10 minutes. I have a large group of people on Zoom. So we're going to be trading under the PDT um, guidelines today. So that means that margining just up to 100,000. Well, I mean, obviously, you could have more than that in your account. But anybody who's made the 25K can margin up to 100,000, which means they can trade 550 shares of AMD. So that's what this uh, exercise uh, um, video demonstration is today to show how that can work out for you. So we will be trading the RV strategy. Make sure you read this uh, disclaimer. I am not a licensed financial advisor. This is an entertainment channel only. You should seek the advice of somebody that you trust before you trade. So this is what's considered to be the perfect one-minute layout. This layout is available as well as um, up to 10 different, 11 different custom scripts now. They say DTS, so they're <coughs> excuse me, designed to fit with uh, Thinkorswim. So if you go to episode 83, you can find all of them. This is the newer scalpers indicator. I have it put out in a couple episodes this week, some of the uh, later ones, the one, uh, 150s. Uh, you can look for that, and then there'll be another one put out this uh, this weekend, I believe, for it, as well as a whole different layout. Um, so today, we'll be doing the RV, like I said, and basically, uh, for all those people that have, um, so if you like the content, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe, please. Everything is free here. We're not selling any courses. But for all the people that uh, I'm asking for a favor, and I don't really do that because I don't sell anything here. But if you recall, I promoted the Day Trading Volume 1, which is a great book. Still uh, right up there is the best sellers. And then I asked you guys, could you please give a review because nobody's doing that. And you did. It was great. And then I screwed it all up because you guys were sending me emails about errors in the book or things you'd like to see in the book. And I went ahead and... Um, you know, pushed all that information out to the Million Dollar Margin Club. So they republished not knowing that all the reviews you gave dropped off. And then it just seriously hurt the the book and, the, you know, the forward momentum of the book sort of stalled. It's still selling great, don't get me wrong. But it would be a great favor to me if you've already given that book a review. You can go into the new book and just give they'll let you just make a review right on it. So um, that would be great. It won't say verified anymore, but it'll still be a review, which would really help that book go back to where it should be, getting all the people to learn that strategy that we're teaching here. And then if you've just recently bought the book in the last couple of months, please uh, go review it. I'm going to put a link on how you can just go directly to review that book right here, as well as to buy it if you don't already have it. And then I'll be talking about everything that's uh, that that strategy is right now today as we trade and then the other book would be helpful i'll put a link to it too is the candlestick pattern playbook which is an amazing book and you'll see me calling patterns today for some reason people just don't do a lot of reviews even though they love the book so i'm going to make it as easy as i can by putting a link it really helps out the million dollar margin club makes me look good so that would be great if you guys could help me out there um so anyway uh moving on so the rv strategy is a range bound strategy will be trade starting to trade with this group in about uh, six minutes so first you go to the day the previous day before you look at what the close was it was 169 dollars and 35 cents under my picture then you look down here at the atr and which was six dollars and 92 cents so you divide that by two you subtract half of it from the close to get the atr low and you add half of it from the close to get the atr high now you've created a range this is a range bound strategy now all these blue lines and yellow and pink lines in here are different things they're pivot points and how we get those is you go to a uh, five minute two day chart and you mark um, left to right and you get the Fibonacci's. So these Fibonacci's end up being in between the support and resistance of the, uh, of the I'm sorry, in between the ATR levels, ATR high, ATR low. So these are giving you lots of pivot points based on mathematical formulas. And then the other way you do it to get even more is you go to five minute 10 day and you go, uh, where is it? There it is. So it's always left to right. So this is high to low. And you're going to create a few more in there. So that's how you get some of your channels within the ATR. So you're creating channels, ceilings and floors, ceilings and floors, right? And then the other way you do it is you do pivot points. So these blue lines open up a four-hour. <coughs> four I always have trouble in the morning, guys. I don't know what it is. Um, 
And wherever the stock has turned around in the last 10 days or so uh, on a four hour, which is accumulation of like um, all the different time frames, one minute, five minute, 15 minute, one hour, this is a little bit more respected because they're, they all accumulate down to like, what does a four hour look like? So why is the stock turned around at those levels of people are buying or selling on a consistent basis or waiting or holding and, you know, or setting alarms to go back when you see that again. So marking the wicks and bodies of those within the action of the ATR here is a good idea. You can see these are too big, really. But here um, there's a lot of them that are marked with, you know, pretty much all of them and then the FIB. So now all that together is basically what is created for the RV strategy. The other thing you have here is the volume profile, which is set for intraday. I have a video on how to do that. And you can see we're in that range. Actually, we're about to break out of it. This is really important. Watch that video. Get the free scalpers indicator. Watch those videos. Get the free script. And then you can do the layout. Either There's ways to build it or just to uh, different videos and with links to just download how it is or how to build. Just watch the video on how to build it yourself. So, guys, I, I'm watching the action now. So, um, looks like it's trying to break out of this volume profile, which is interesting if it really has the strength to do that. Um, so, we'll keep, we'll keep seeing if this is going to reject it back because that's – that's kind of what the arrows are saying, that it'll reject it back. That's in about three minutes. So we have the one-minute chart. We have the 15-minute chart so I can watch bigger moves. I have down for screen management the daily, which you saw me open, a one-hour, a four-hour, and then two five-minutes here. Oh, let me get this straightened out. Uh, so you're going to want to look for alignment if you can get it. Everything's going up. Everything's telling you it's going up. So that's good, but... I'm looking at this four-hour pivot, and I'm looking at the fact that it's leaving here and the fact that you're getting some indecisive. So you're going to see me call the patterns because that's the key. So this right here is a bull doji pattern, which means an indecisive move to go down, telling you it's about to go down. So we got to look at that and say, like, this is not only is it hitting a resistance here, two, two resistances here, it's also showing you signs that it wants to go down. Now, here's another one. So this would be instead of just writing it the trend long, I'm looking to go short here based on these patterns and based on the, the way this is set up. So you can see all these spaghetti lines don't really mean too much when you zoom in. Um, they're just here to help you a little support and resistance. Um, so you want to to trade the RV strategy, you want to set it up like this. There are so many videos, so many video trading archives, and so many videos uh, about how to set this up and what to think about it. But of course, in that book, Day Trading Volume 1, that I just asked you to review, um, it is literally every little detail and how to trade these ceilings and floors. And it's, pretty, it's a pretty helpful book. There's four books that I recommend. Day Trading Volume 1, The Candlestick Pattern Playbook, Trading in the Zone, and Best Loser Wins. So pretty much every professional trader has those. Four. I mean, the trading, uh, the Candlestick Pattern Playbook is pretty new, but I mean, every professional trader will have probably all four of those. The Candlestick Pattern Playbook has got already all this information from other people that did books about that and their sort of their cumulative talent it has them listed in there. It was used to get the rating system. So this is the only candlestick pattern book that has a rating system put together by the professional traders at the Million Dollar Margin Club using that other data from the other people that have worked on uh, patterns forever. Um, all the way back to the 17th century, they talk to people. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but anyway, so you're going to want to. So guys, we have 30 seconds. Again, um, indecisive, doji, uh, a little bit, almost, almost a shooting star. Um, this is a hangman with a big fat head, and uh, now we're getting another one that's showing you that it's going down. It's going to go down. It's, that's what I believe. So it couldn't break this, and uh, honestly, right when we get to exact – now, we always start a half hour after market when the uh, stock starts to consolidate. Normally, I would go with the triggered move of it going up because of that. Okay, two seconds. I'm going in. There I go. So I got it at 70.88. I wish I could have got it a little higher, but I was waiting for our rules to start at this time. I went short the 550 shares that we're all trading here today. So um, it's not actually doing too good going short. 
So the the half hour might might get it to go. Uh, so half of you went short, half of you went long. So that's good. So it might actually um, that push might keep it going up because this I kind of expected this candle to turn red. So I'm a little surprised that it didn't turn red. So okay, you guys are doing good. So it did. It went against what uh, what I thought it was going to do. Um, and most people would say it was just following the trend, but I saw the signs of reversal, so I was doing that. So I'm not right all the time, but um, a lot of the time I am. So I called that. I'm going to go uh, long now. Yeah. <laughs> It's going the other way. Now it's going the other way. Oh my God. I called them both wrong on the thing. So it's not a good start today. <laughs> oh my God. I'm actually going to reverse. So I'm down 50 bucks. Not good. Um, I'm going to try to get that back here. Wow. Definitely called that wrong, guys. So I'm at uh, 170.84 short. At least I'm green again. God. You take that. I'll, I'll I'll go green for a second here and try to. I, I'm don't don't even try to follow me right. Now. I'm trying to recover from a couple of bad decisions. So I'm back. Oh wow, that was a lot of slip. Did you see that slip, man? That was some serious slippage there. All right, 144. So I'm at 170.65. 170.65. Um, long. So. Uh, short again. Nope, 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 nope. I'm going to do it again. Uh, slipping. Slipping because these are baby scalps. So now I'm at 170.75 long. So even a worse position if I wanted to go uh, long on this. So it's it's resting on this fib. And uh, I did not call out what I was doing very well for you guys other than watching price action to try to make, to try to recover from bad trades and get back into the lead because you guys are beating me up there. Oh, and this is a bad trade. So um, had it over 200 for a bit there. You'll see that I'll reverse, and this right now, this just looks craziness to you, I'm sure. It does not look like a professional trader, so I apologize. All right, so let's just slow down. Um, so this is showing you a sign that it's going to go back up. Now, it's not quite a rickshaw man, um, and it's, it's, it's more, and it's not really a hammer, so I would call that a bullish doji. I would call that a bullish doji, which means this action should turn back around off this fib and go long. How long? I don't know. But uh, um, right now I see a couple people over 300. That's great news. I definitely blew that first trade. Uh, and then I've been trying to recover and kind of got more in trouble here. Here we go again. More in trouble. Having trouble. Not being my normal self today. That's why I'm just going to hold this for right now. This tells me of a reversal. And it might take a second to do a reversal, so I'm just going to slow down a bit. You can see that the volume went down with buyers. Now it's starting to creep up with sellers, which is not the best news. Uh, it also went down here. Okay, there's the buyers. So that's what we want to see happen for me. So I don't actually go negative here. We would like to beat what I did with 25 shares. <laughs> yesterday <laughs> everybody was excited about today to do the to do the under the pdt where you know most people have right around 25 27k um so you know so these are all three of these are signs for, of reversal all right so the bullish doji the really thick-headed hammers here both say 
this should go up. So I'm just going to bide my time and hopefully it won't break through this like it's threatening to do. Oh my God, really? Wow. So if it breaks through that FIB, guys, I got it. I got to reverse here. It's just going to go down. I'm, I'm so surprised that it's doing this. So I've lost everything. I've lost it all. Oh. So this is a FIB, pretty well respected. I'm hoping it's going to bounce off these guys. I pretty much have no choice in a minute to, to go back to zero and reset what I'm thinking. Honestly, really did not see this happening quite this way. But, you know, there are days I go red. It does happen. I don't want these to be one of those days. But it's better than having 1,500 shares and going red. So um, is this finally going to do the turnaround that it's supposed to do? Let's see. Also, if I don't get out, then I haven't hurt my average as much because I think I didn't have three bad trades, but maybe I did. I'm not sure. Okay, so here comes the point of control. Did you see it? Now, remember, this volume profile is a video on how to get this, set this up. So it's on intraday. This is pretty important. And look, I'm feeling happy that it's recovering a bit here. So let's see if you can break through this fib, or I might reverse it up here when I'm green. Or off of this, if it happens to get up there again, that's kind of its high right now. You can see, I mean, it did go a little higher at the open, but um, I'd like to get a pretty big cushion. I had one, and then I kind of blew it on a position, this position, actually, right here, because I had it up here, and then I blew it. So what was 10 o'clock? So 10 o'clock, I made my first bad move. And then somewhere around here, I made my second bad move after I made some money on some small um, scalps. It's all right. It's all right. There is time. There is time. Here we go. Everybody's going to do good today. Everybody goes green on a Friday. <laughs> Everybody feels good on a Friday, right? We want to go into the weekend feeling great. There we go. Finally, I'm green. I feel like I just want to take the trade so it doesn't hurt my average. But it broke through that fib pretty strong. Look at the look at the buyers. You don't want to jump off. That was 80, 100 percent. Yeah, yeah. Now it's using the fib. Look at this come in here. This is going to pull the point of control up. This point of control. There it goes. See that? So now it's going to be drawn like a magnet right up into here. So now it could consolidate here and not make it, but uh, set this so you can see what's going to happen in your future here. Again, you ride the wave. You jump on that surfboard when it's green, and you just ride that big wave. Just don't hit the rocks. <laughs> so I got back all that that I lost, thank goodness. So we were hoping we might make 2K today, but that looks pretty hard the way I'm trading right now. So I'm going to look to reverse off this double arrow here depending on what the indicators tell me that looks like a good spot to reverse or sooner no nope, there it goes yeah I don't I don't want to lose this again I'm not going to ride this back down so let's see what happens here I'm reversing guys off that 171 dollar even roughly up in that area it's the ask is giving it to me now but this is what the market maker gives me whoa 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 is that 170 what is that at 170 okay i'm going to take that right there and bank that and then just hope for a second that i'm not going to get it's not going to just keep flying up here yep is it going to do it is it going to kill me so is it breaking through those uh, the top of the volume profile wow it looks really strong Wow, it's, it just wants to hurt me today. Look at that go. Pull back, and I will take a lesser loss. Pull back, and I will take a lesser loss. $80. Oh, man, I should have taken the 80 Wow, I can't trade today. I'm, I'm having a bad day. Can you pull back at all for me? Now, guys, I'm going to take that hit. Ouch! Oh, man. 
Okay. Again, take a breath, slow down. You know, you, you get used to things, just they just go a certain way. You just read them a certain way, and then some days you just, you're not 100% on. So, you know, I'm not even going to bank off that. Normally I would just bank off this, but I'm just, it's told me enough times now that I'm not, uh, I'm not riding the trend correctly. So I'm just going to hang on a second here. I'm long now, 140, 171.48, 171.48, so... Look at this. Man, and I was trying to buck that. Wow. Not not smart. That was not smart. I really thought this was the turnaround in this area, 171-ish, right around here, and it just, just blew me away. Now, that would have been one to catch, but um, nope, you're not going to suck me in. This looks like it's going up to me, and I'm going to actually respect this trend at this point. Now, maybe when we get up toward the ETR, I'll take a look there, but that's all the way the heck up there to 172. So now this is an indecisive doji telling us to turn around, and I'm a bit gun shy of turning around right now. So let's just, buyers drop too. So these are, these are the lessons that are blowing my confidence from taking them. These are telling me to turn around, you know, because the volume's dropped with the buyers. As the buyers went up, volume dropped. But here we go again. Look at the percentage. Now the FIP, yeah, so I'm glad I didn't turn around. Now this is a hanging man, which signifies a reversal. There it is, a little bit of one. Damn, is this going to start going down right here? Let's see. I almost pressed short there. I'm just uh, I'm just questioning myself today. But anyway, we're okay. We're okay. We're doing good, guys. I'm not. I've got my hands off my mouse. I'm just like, let it go, let it go up until I see a definitive reversal right now. <laughs> oh my God, that would have sucked me in too. That this this pivot point would have sucked me in. Oh my God. All right, ATR. I got to look at the ATR or something here. So. Uh, ATR is 172.81. Man, the normal way I trade, I'd be twice as bad. I'd be red probably if I, if I kept doing it the way I, I, you guys normally see me trade. And, and people say, like, you do, you're fucking the trend. Well, I, oh, it works for me. Well, not, it wouldn't have worked for me today. It already hurt me a few times. Um, so this was a hard one to call because it's not really respecting the patterns, which are usually, you know, 70 80 percent accurate i mean that hanging man you would think would have turned it around but they're not they're not turning it around now we have another one you're not going to get me I, I do think that the atr highly respected so um you know those aren't just random placements of that so a lot of people do that every single day to get the mean center of the uh, average true range so, and that's how you do it. You just divide the, the ATR from the close, and, and then that's, that's why it's done that way. So you have this sort of how the center of the channel is uh, between the two ATR, high and low. Look at that. So that's, uh, that's almost a rickshaw, uh, definitely a, bull, uh, a bullish doji. Um, and it is it did turn it around. So this might be the spot. This could be the spot. So I have to be ready to not just blow up everything I know because it wasn't working for me, you know? So we got to... Is this reconciling? Yeah, it's right on. It's reconciling. It's just that, God, am I reading the candlesticks wrong from the price action? But look at it. Is it going to blow off that four hour and keep going up? It is. Look at it go. So it broke to 72.50, and man, did it break it. 72.80. So this is this is this is the ATR. Uh, this is the average true range right here. So let's see. So it tapped it and, and reversed. I tell you guys, I'm gonna, I'm holding. I'm not gonna. I don't trust it to turn around. I'm I'm gonna hold until I see more definitive. So it just broke through that. 
So there is a lot of people saying, let's go, let's go up on this today. So people are very confident about the market right now. So plain, th it did say the market had an overall going up today. And remember, we have a video that um, shows how to determine which way the market's going to go each day. I mean, you know, nothing's for sure, obviously, but uh, that's an, you might want to watch that video as well as how to speed up your uh, thinkorswim and your actual computers, how to clean everything up. There's a video about that, how to set up your scanners to find these stocks. Um, the RV stocks obviously have a whole scanner setting in the day trading volume one. Nice trade. I wish I had more money before this single trade. Is this it? 73.60. Sooner or later, it's going to turn around. So it's... I'm not used to not taking trades, you know, as you guys know. Okay. So I would say, like, if you read the RV strategy, it did break through that. But definitely if it broke through the 173.28, it would signify that we are now going to have the reversal that we should have had. So that's how it would call it out in its exact um, details of how it, you, to trade that in the book. So let's watch that. I will follow it to give me a little backbone if that happens. Feeling a little gun shy here about going short on this stock. Okay, so that's more confirmation it's going to turn around. Okay, it's basically, you know, you could call all these things hangman's. Oh my God, it's not, it's not doing it. See, it just keeps getting these and then blowing right through them. Wow, now I would call that a pattern that it's going to go up if you looked at the last three, you know. Is there one below that too? No. Oh my God. So onward and upward to 174. What a great trade. Do not want to lose it. So it broke 174. Let's see if it gets up to 174.50. Sooner or later, this thing, guys, this is going to. So it just, it's just traversing this big gap. So let's see if this is the one, 174.50, roughly. I have to take, I have to reverse here at some point. I'm just going to bank my profits. I don't want this to, you know, just shoot down and I lose a thousand and something bucks. Um, so uh, it's going up a slow enough that if I, if I make a mistake, I have a big cushion now to, to go back long again. So I'm definitely thinking about going short here. Slowing down. Uh, let's look at the scalpers indicator really not giving us a definitive thing here just buyers is what it's saying buyers 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 these patterns are reversal patterns and it's not reversing then you look at the even and half dollars the psychological uh, reasons why things might turn around what's everybody doing up there so let's see if it breaks through this See if it breaks through that, man. It's going to break through the 50 cents. Here it is. Look at the market maker. It's just, it's just, it just should hit 51 as a new high. It's hitting a new high, and people are just feeding the fire here. That's fantastic, right? Great trade. We look for these straight-up trades. People can lose money in these straight-up trades. I almost did. <laughs> So it banked off this four hour and it gave a big, huge shadow wick. Again, sign of a reversal. Now we've got two reverse. Well, that was two candles apart from it, too. This is a definitely stronger sign of reversal, but it hasn't closed yet. So let's see. Nope. There it goes. Wow. I'm just not taking any trades. It's not like me, but. I'm glad because, you know, I've got 1700 here, so look like it might be a $300 day for a minute. Okay, so that turned red, and it's definitely more of a, a stronger a new high. I just sh I'm just going to shut my mouth. I can't call this. So as you can see, I make mistakes all the time. <laughs> 171.48 long. 
Wow. Sooner or later, eight at one seventy five. I'm definitely gonna I'm definitely gonna call it at one seventy five. It hit one seventy nine. I gotta I gotta bank this. I'm gonna bank this at one seventy five. Is that it? Is it is it falling off now? I I'm tending to just think about selling it and waiting rather than reversing. Look at the look at the five minute over here. I mean, these are more worrying a bit now, at least. The fifteen minute, everything is way high, so we've broken up. Now, if it does the escalator strategy, it'll come back and retest before it goes off. The escalator strategy will call it back to the ATR, and then it could shoot off for the rest of the day. I don't know. Wow! So it pulled back from that high there. That's these are getting these are getting more like we're done. There's more of them now, and they're see how the buyers dropping as the volume went up. Buyers dropped, so sellers are right there with them for the first time in a while. First time since way back, since it started. So the scalpers indicator is telling you the sentiment is changing here. These are reversal patterns here. This is a pivot line. There's a bunch of things that said it's time, and the 175 is a definite psychological. I'm I'm actually going to go if if it hits 175, I'm gonna I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna reverse. I mean, 81, 80, 80, 76. I'm looking to see if it pops up there. Nope. The dropping off. This may be the drop off. You know the second I reverse, it's going to shoot way up. Just be confident. 94, 91, 90, 94. I'm going to take that. What did I get it at? 95. But I have over $2,000. So, okay. Just don't let this get to like 500 bucks. All right. So, 75.05. Oh, my God. Is it going to? If it shoots up, guys, I'll tell you. There we go. I'm going to actually take that and go long again. <laughs> my own my own confidence and see if it if it tries to get back up to the 175 again. 61. I'm I'm at 63 cents. I have another chance to go long here. I banked another 100 and something bucks. 60 76 80. 80, is that it? 83, 84. I'm going to take that. It seems to be losing its way. I got 2,400 now. So, yeah, this right here. So, Shooting Star is that's a direct, like, we're going the other way. It, it's literally pointing the Shooting Star, like, we're going down now, guys. So, uh, Okay, well, this is creating a, um, a bullish tweezer here, so I have to be careful if you don't count the wick. But not really. Not, a lot of people might not read it that way, and it's all about how the lemmings read it. Okay, so we are starting to go down, so we're in the right position if you want short off the 175 in that, that tremendous uh, shooting star there. And you had a hammer just before that, so... Um, or a hangman. That's a hangman, actually. Hangman, hangman, shooting star. Um, all, all telling you, look, look for it to go the other way. Now, it's just about how many people see that. That's why everybody reading that book is a good idea so that we all trade together. <laughs> we all make it happen. God, this has been painful, right? I guess I'm just not used to having that many negative trades. But uh, it's ending up. It's ending up okay. So I really didn't think I'd make two today, so that's good with this lower share size on this stock. So um, this is good. Now, you could almost call that a spinning top. Not really, because these, these wicks are too far apart. And um, 
It's not really an inverted hammer unless you like the hammer in the middle of the stock. <laughs> so it's kind of a, it's sort of a sign of a reversal, but not really. Wow. Uh-oh. Okay. I don't like to see that coming in. So I've got to read what that's going to say. So that's saying that mo this is telling you most of the price action is right at this level, which is like 174.34. So it might pull it back up toward that. So let's watch that. And these are all just give you a little bit of an edge. Nothing's a for sure thing. Okay, it's going to pull up the point of control. Where is it? There it is. Jesus. Okay, so uh, so this is what I call the magnet. So this is going to draw all the price action to it. So this could be enough to send it the other way. So we got to send it back up. So we got to watch this. Another sort of spinning top, but not really. So I can make those look nowhere near as dramatic if I do that. You know, but I like to stretch them out to see the, emphasize the, the pattern, you know. See if I can break 3K on this move. That would be nice. So guys, if you like what you see, remember to give us a thumbs up and to subscribe. I have a lot of different links to some of the best books. Um, I really recommend Trading in the Zone as well to help you with your confidence. They're all from different authors. Um, and uh, Day Trading Volume 1, Candlestick Pattern Playbook, Trading in the Zone, Best Loser Wins. All of those are good. And then the Million Dollar Margin Club has a... should go to their go to their page. And not only their, their YouTube channel, Million-Dollar-Margin Club. They just getting going over there and I know they're going to drop a bunch of videos um, and, and and offer membership into the Million Dollar Margin Club so if you haven't subscribed over there you should do it so that you're like the first to see it happening okay here we go <laughs> this is a nice move boy these last two moves really recovered me huh I mean look at that that's just amazing and now we're having it retrace all the way so maybe it will go to the ATR that's what we like to see, right down to the ATR. So, you know, then then it could take off for an escalator strategy. This could actually be an, a, a, like a picture-perfect video for an escalator strategy if it, if we traded a little bit longer. I don't know. I'm not going to do that because I have to go to work. But um, I'm looking at this number. <laughs> that, did that break 3K? I didn't actually see. I'm tending to want to just take my 3K and pick up my, my toys and go home. Um, I, I feel kind of beaten up today. I feel violated. <laughs> no. Um, but, uh, yeah, it wasn't as good as uh, it isn't. I am very used to things going my way. So that's a bad thing to be used to, right? Um, So sellers are kind of steady right across here with the volume. But generally, the volume's dropped for this downward move. It's way up here on the buyers. Again, what I'm doing, guys, is uh, I'm not going to react too fast today because I'm, I'm unable to catch the little scalps on the... So I'm just going to ride the move till I see it definitely turning around. I mean, these were very clear signs, kind of came to a top and and then slowly faded. So it was easy to easy to trade that without a lot of risk. There is no clear sign of this turning around yet. So I think it will eventually, but it just keeps, you know, So I'm and I've got a big cushion. So I'm just trying to get over three. It's just been kind of staying at this amount for there's three finally. And there it goes again. So now this closes here which it might do. Oh, it did. Okay, so that is definitely a bearish tweezer. I mean, a bullish tweezer, which means it should go up right there. So that's, that's, um, might not make it to the bottom of this channel here. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh my God, get me back to the action, please. Jesus. I 
is trying to change this line here. When I do them after the after I start trading, I always make them white and jaggedy. I'll set a default. I'm just gonna take take an eye, keep a keep a look at that for a sort of a breakdown of the. That might be a support. So it broke right through there too. Wow. So it is literally reversing the way it went up, just a little bit wider arc, um, as you can see. With the if you get good at reading these um, volume indicators and this scalping indicator, you can see it's just slower curving, you know, not a straight down or straight up. This was almost straight up. Not quite, but um, yeah, that, that should have sent it up and it didn't. So these patterns are not, you know, not doing as well as they normally do as far as calling. That's probably part of some of the problem I'm having reading this. These did. This definitely signified the turnaround and it did it. Um, this was just a little longer, one more green. This could have been a could have been a bear flag coming down, but it didn't it didn't form it. Wow. So is this going to be the end of it? So I've definitely got over three. I will buy out. I'm I'm at time, guys. So um, I do not want this to go below three again. I'm feeling very lucky. I got three. I signed up for it. I knew it wouldn't make my 5K today. Um, it's It would be impossible. My week's already over, so what I needed, so it'd be impossible for me to go, you know, unless I go way red and just let it let her ride, you know. Oh, my God. Is $73 even going to stop it, or is it literally going to go? So the next thing is the FIB. And then you got you got a double fibs here, and then you have the uh, the ATR. So, so I'm going to get out soon just because it's it's a great trade for me, and I'm done. I'm past my time, so I might go a little longer here. Is it going to break through those fibs? See if I can get 3,500. Wow, this got way better than I thought. So. Um. Oh my God, it did it! It went all the way to the fib. Wow, what a great trade. I'm going to take that, guys. I'm going to get out at 3500 So that might just keep going, but normally this is a huge support if you're going to continue to trade, so be careful here that this doesn't – this could be the point. Plus a double FIB, and then you're dealing with the $73 even, 173 even in the same area here. So I would be concerned to just randomly not paying attention and just keep riding it down. So, um, but overall, everybody did good, right? Is there anybody, well, there's a 4,000, so that's great. Um, there's a whole bunch of people over 2K, so looking good, yeah. That ride going up was just beautiful. Now, I noticed I saw some of you trying to do what I did and scalp it on the way up, and I gave up on that. Uh, you probably would be up in the 35 4k range if you didn't try that I, I stopped because it was just not working but um overall it, it did pretty good for us here guys so all right well um guys i will i'm going to put out some stuff on the weekend um and be careful out there trading don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and to please review those two books that would be awesome and i will see you down the road stay green guys